I do like the stinky think, pinky, man. I think the stinky pinky is alright. I think, uh, let's see. What do I want? What do I want to bring? Even that means. <laughs> <laughs> the stinky pinky? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even, like, what am I talking about? <laughs> You know, it just it just says, "Welcome back to Chinstrap." Welcome Chaps. back to Chinstrap. Chaps. I like the stinky pinky, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's, 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 let's have some fun. Fuck it, I'm gonna do the auto cannon. Yeah, do the auto cannon. This is bugs. No, I know. This is where you know we just fuck around, find. I know. Out. Yep. Pretty much. A little bit of a splash. Yeah, the explosion does uh, AOE. Cool. Well, I'm a star at or star marshal now or something. By the way, that's what level 40 is. Oh, okay. For me, it was still saying just marshal. See, I want this. I want like you see these like giant wings over here or something. Yeah, the bones. Yeah, like the bone wings, whatever you want to call them. Like, yeah, that's what I fucking want to see more of. There's a bunch of them over here, actually. I see three separate sets of them. That's pretty fun. What if it's all one giant worm? That would be it's sick. It's like, it's just wrapped around us. Yo, I want a repeat, or like a reimagining yeah, yeah. of that one mission from Lost Planet 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I just want that. You know? That would be super. Oh, we got the fucking lovely. nursing spewers here. God dang it. Well, let's see how this works against them. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. All right. Actually, it's pretty good against them. Yep, that's not bad at all. Okay, all right. It you know what, Billy? Or... You know what? You know what's stupid is like mm -hmm. me just mentioning that mission makes me want to play Lost Planet Two with you again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You no, know, I get it. I do get it. Every once in a while, I get a little hankering for when we played Lost Planet Two. All right, Billy. We're we gonna have to do a Lost Planet Revisited Two on Chinstrap Chips. <laughs> yeah, we're probably gonna have to do that. <laughs> Lost Planet. <laughs> that would be actually pretty funny. <laughs> hey guys, we played it. You know what? I wish they made a remake of it or just an HD update. Yeah. Oh my god, Capcom. I wonder. I if, know um, it wouldn't make you any money except for us. Could probably please. emulate it. Could probably emulate it. Maybe we get some extra frames out of it or something. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah, they don't, because they don't have it on PC, actually. I don't think you can get it on PC. Like, it's not on Steam. Like, you can't buy it on Steam. You can buy one and three, but not number two. Objective huh. located. What? That's so weird. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know what it is. Like, if you go onto the page, like, the, the store, it says something like, uh... Uh, I forgot what it says exactly, but it's like, you know, we'll, we will provide an update for when the game will be available. It's like, you're not going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, the game came out in 2010. You're not going to do it. <laughs> I think that's so funny. We have such a love-hate relationship with Lost Planet 2, yeah. and yet it's still yeah. pretty much a love. Like Yeah. Like, I'll play it. And I'll yeah. play it again and again and again. And have fun. <laughs> See, yeah. like, like that that game right there is like it's just dumb. It's dumb. dumb. It's dumb and fun, but that's kind of like what it like what Dragon's Dogma like taps into for me. Yeah. Okay, I can understand that. You know what I mean? Like that's that's why I like that game as much as I do, and that's why like it's maintained a fan base for over a decade. It's because it's just yeah. dumb fun. Like that's kind of it. Like, I don't know that anybody actually takes any of the shit seriously in the game, but, like, it's, like, half-decent dark fantasy-type shit, and it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm arming the Hellbomb. Okay. Clear the area. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. reminds me, you know, I'm that way with a couple of games. Thief is my... Yeah. Well, Thief's also just a good game. Yeah. I think you killed me. Did you kill me? Something, I might have. Something exploded near me and caused me to burn to death. I don't know what happened. It would have been my guard dog if it did. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm honestly curious as to know what just fucking happened. Because I... <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> just... Ex something exploded oh, and yeah, then I burned just it and exploded died. Again when my, it, uh, yeah, it had to have been the guard dog then. I think that's just what fucking happened. <laughs> Unless an enemy triggered an, a, a, like one of those ex like barrels to explode or something. But Yeah. Whatever. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, I don't like honestly, Billy. We might have to carve out some time for Lost Planet Two again. <laughs> yeah, I'd be fine with that. Here, I want to see if the quasar closes bug holes. I've never tried. Yeah, try it. I feel like the auto cannon, like the auto cannon, does. So I feel like that would work. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Nice. Awesome. Nice. It's definitely not a good clearer for this. The auto cannon is far superior. Yeah, just because of how quickly I can shoot and whatever. Yeah. But all right, where are we going? Like it would take me forever. Radar tower south, yeah. No, that's yep. <laughs> I think it's so funny though. I just talk about the worm mission and then I'm like, I want to play it now. I want to play yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> that worm mission. It's just, it's just so fun. Yeah. So nostalgic. And honestly, even too. then, like it could be a lot better too. Is the funny thing. Like I feel like it could be better. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It but it's still super cool. I think I think what makes it fun is just like the absurd concept of what's happening. Like, you've yeah. got this enormous gun on a train. Like, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. What What was the point of the enormous gun on a train? Why was it in the story at all? Yeah. It was just oh yeah, we're with the space like uh, space Mexicans. No, and that's a different. That's a different part of the game. Is it? You're getting it mixed up, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, I'm thinking of the... Uh, they get, like, that giant, like, mobile base thing or whatever it yes, is. Yes, yes, they get the giant mobile base. I'm on the they want to see the yep. wings coming What were we? We were the... They were just, like, random dudes. Jungle reggae guys? No, they were... No, I forgot no, what that was the, the time before. I forgot what faction they were called. I think they were, like, called the Rounders or something, but I think that was the very first faction we played as. I don't know that okay. they had a. I don't know that they had a. It's like Wastelander or something like that. I don't know. I honestly don't know what their whole point was because they like were complaining about the whole time that the 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 goo pile like took over their home or something. So I honestly don't know what their deal is because the story is conveyed so poorly in that game. Which way am I going? You are going to the right. Nope. Yep. You're almost there. Nice. Nice. Fucking nice. Okay. Well, I guess... Oh, man, there's a lot of points of interest. Holy crap. Yeah. Holy, holy crap, Lois. Holy... Oh, oh, Lois, holy crap. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I think I think it would be funny if they did, a like, a remake of Lost Empty. Planet 2, but they're not... They're never gonna... They're yeah. never gonna do it. There's no way. <laughs> Absolutely no way they would ever consider it. No. And I, I could petition I, them for years. I, I told you, um, I think I told you, like, relatively recently, like, it's been months now, but, like, um, I had started playing Lost Planet 3 again, and I couldn't fucking do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember you saying that. <laughs> like, even after, like, not even that the game is bad, it's just so uninspired and generic that like I couldn't get past the first little bar like bit of the game. I'm yeah, like, this is you just so felt like it, it sucks your soul. Like yeah. how yeah, like how ugh. little personality there is in the game. Like you know, you're playing as the dude from fucking Tool Time, and he's just like <laughs> yeah. going around like just shooting bugs mm -hmm. with like this really boring interface and like really boring weapon selection, and it's like. It tries to kind of be scary at times, but like never really hits the level where you're actually like afraid of anything. Actually scared. Yeah, like it's. Yeah, I don't know what they were trying to accomplish with that one, but somehow, some way, Lost Planet Two manages to be the most befuddled entry in the series, but the most memorable. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know? Probably the best. It, 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 I would I would argue after all this time, oh. the best. Yes. Explosive barrel got me. See? That's that damn... That's not what I meant to do, but hey, I'll do it. Yeah, you can um, strike those bitches. Thank you. Um, yeah, it, it's easily, like like I said, one of the most confused games ever, but it's it's just the most fun. It's the most fun. Yeah. I think, I mean, but... I agree 100%. But I, I do think, uh, um... If they were to do like something similar to that bug or like the worm mission in this would be pretty cool actually. 
Yes. Because I don't... think Helldivers would, would do it pretty well. Yeah. Like, you remember um, that Guns of Icarus game? Yeah. Like, I think that I think idea... I about it every once in a while. Yeah, I think that idea of, like, having, like... A space that the, that the players run around in that like has like a role within like a larger like piece of equipment type of thing, like you know piloting a ship or manning the gun in on Lost Planet. Like I think that's a really cool idea. Yeah, yeah, I, I do like that. That yeah. could be a nice single player game. Yeah. With like some friends. Yeah. Um, or even if it's a, one of those co-op games that a lot of people like to be making now. Yeah. Like, I imagine it to be something like a Guns of Icarus or something like that, where, like, everybody's kind of got, like, a role on the yeah. ship, you know? Where it's yeah, still exactly. fun even to be, like, you know, even if you're not, like, a gunner. Like, you can, you know, do things to, like, help improve the performance or repair the ship or whatever, you know? Yeah. That, that would be a really good idea for, like a game to make a single player game well not sorry not a single player game uh, a story game right that is co-op up to you know three or four people and then everyone has their little things and yeah we you don't have like uh, battles in the sky it would, it, I would think it should be a, lo a larger ship than yeah. the one and have some tasks automated and all that, but you could make a really good story game with that. Really? We should make video games, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying. It's fucking hard, man. It is. <laughs> it's, it's really that I don't have the time to... I have a lot of different things I want to do. Well, that's and the I thing. I don't know I have the time to work on that. That's the thing with it, right? Is like... Um, that's what I wanted to do with like video editing, like try to get better at that. Like I have the desire to do it, but I have no time, or I, at least I make no time for it. Is what I should say. Yeah. Like I just have other stuff that I do otherwise and would rather be doing. So like you know, I'm already good at doing the music shit, so that's what I you know would do in that capacity versus trying to learn how to do video editing. But I don't know, maybe one day. Yeah. I got um. It Da Vinci. I want to try and learn Da Vinci because I hear that's a pretty good program. Oh yeah. Acquired. Yeah, I. I want to make a game, but I also just want to tell people how to make the game. <laughs> yeah, here's what just, you should do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just like make me the the director of it. Yeah, yeah. And then I I guide you guys with the, my the vision. Yeah, you're the vision yeah. guy. I'm the vision guy. You like, guys do the stuff. Like yeah, I wonder but... I wonder like certain people like Kojima, for example. Like how much like yeah, knowledge yeah. and expertise does he have on actually making the game? You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. He I could don't know be either. only an ideas guy. That's what it mini seems nuke. like. Got a mini nuke. I just grabbed a static field just to get one over here. Oh there's another yeah. explosive. Here's another mini nuke. Alright, that's five. Yep. I honestly don't like the colors as much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that they change them. I I, if they. L we could leave the colors like this if they also just made the heads different than just the colors. Yeah, I think that's part of it. Oh, no, not that one. Mini nuke. Two mini nukes. An explosive. Yeah. Yeah, and I often wonder that with, with uh, people who are kind of like notable when it comes to. Um, it's like Peter Molyneux. Peter Molyneux or Tim Schafer or David Jaffe or Kojima. Yeah, like how much How much do yeah. they actually yeah. know about the coding and all that versus, yeah. you know, what is it just like, oh, they're really good at imagining They're worlds. just, yeah, they're like the, an ideas person, like you say. I'm sure they have some degree of expertise with it. I would. I would assume that. Yeah. At the start, you probably are making it yourself yeah well i think i think kojima had his kind of start in that like he like his dream was to work for konami and then i think he like had kind of worked at some other studios before that like doing whatever you know yeah but i haven't really looked into it it's like one google search away <laughs> and i just haven't looked into it <laughs> Well, 
One thing I have actually noticed real quick is the uh, with the scorcher. Um, you know how sometimes with a lot of the other like ballistic weapons, like you have like an, a longer reload animation be if you run all the way out of ammo. Yeah. The scorcher does not have that. It's the same animation every time. Okay. Which I guess makes sense. Yeah. It is an energy-based weapon, so you're not like having to cock anything or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so now we gotta go up there. Is this done? Or yeah, I got the SSD. Oh. No, it says call down SSD and insert into hatch. Well, yeah, yeah, but I got it in my hand. Marking location. Oh. I thought you had to take it. I think you have to put it over here. Oh, do I have to put it in? Okay, I think you put I it into this. Hatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought this was a run across the thing again. No, we're doing the. Uh, What's it called? We gotta extract people. Oh, track. civilians. Yeah, the civilian one. Okay. Yeah. My mistake. My gooch. My gooch. Let's not fight that. Oh, God. Don't let us fight that. I don't want to fight it. Oh. <laughs> At first, I didn't really even see what it was because of all the fog and shit. Yeah. It's just the seeth artillery with its cock proudly showing. Yeah. It is primed and ready. Yeah, and we're just the fluffers. We did. We did fluff it. We I haven't even a... let it. We haven't even used it once yet, though. No. Nope. Oh, I guess when we get to the probably that like far north. Uh, it's that huge thing. tower. Yeah. Well, no, the tower. The tower is the where the civilians Civilian. are. But I mean, like, oh, there's okay. a nest. There's a nest beyond that. Oh yes, yes. I need some ammo. Ooh. Okay. Now, there's a little baby bitch over here. There's a bunch of uh, freaking points of interest. Yeah. There's a fucking hooker on that one. Goddamn hooker. Get off. Oh, a smelly pirate hooker. You look like a blueberry. Why don't you go Did back I... to your home on Horror Island? Why is it getting Remember, wet? Remember the days when... Because I think the sun is rising. Ah. Um, remember the days of just sitting around and... Uh, quoting Anchorman? <laughs> yeah, those days are right now, Billy. <laughs> yeah, right now. I'm still doing it. <laughs> I'm riding a furry tractor. Guard dog. Guard dog. Uh oh. Say hello to democracy! Should not. We got pews. Yeah, pew -pews. I know, I see that. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. I've, only, I've like barely used any of my fucking stratagems in this, <laughs> this mission yeah. so far. I think just it's because that. once again we're just kind of talking and doing our shit. Yeah. Well, these soldiers love Lost Planet too, man. What can you say? When you hear Lost Planet too, you your mind wanders. Yeah. I've actually been seeing, for some reason, some fucking uh, uh, Shadow of the Colossus videos have been coming up for me again recently. Oh, yeah. And uh, it makes me, it also makes me want to play the uh, PS4 version because it's really good. That's the, uh, the, the updated one, right? Yeah. The remake? I'd be okay. curious, I'd be curious to play it on PS5 to see if it has like a frame rate improvement or anything like that, but I haven't, uh, haven't tried it yet. The, um, I hear that there is actually a team of uh, people working on, um, like a like expansion, like you know, like a fan made project for that uh, oh, game, yeah. where they're actually like, because there there originally was supposed to be, I think, uh, twenty four colossi in the game, so they had cut eight of them 
from the original oh. release. So they're working on trying to restore those eight and make them playable in the game. So I'm not sure how that would get released, if it would just be a PC thing or something, but... Yeah. But, cool idea. Yeah, I like that. I'd like to see more of that game. Well, it's that game is so bizarre in the sense, too, that, like, to this day, there is still, like, mysteries being uncovered in it. It's really weird. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's so much, like, I don't know. They, just because, they, like, uh, like out-of-bounds stuff and stuff like that, like, there's so many people that are just so enamored and curious about the world because there's so much mystery in the game that, like... Yeah, I mean, they yeah. built a chock full of stuff to find, so, yeah, you know, yeah. that makes you think, isn't there, is there more that we haven't seen? Right, yeah. Right. They had, they had actually... They had actually, like, uncovered some recent shit. I forgot what it was, though. Oh, nice. That actually did really well against that. Yeah. So it's that's, like a recoilless. It's basically like a recoilless, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, so I don't know. I Maybe at some point I'll, I'll play uh, Shadow of the Colossus again at some point, because that game is just... like it, it looks really good on PS4, too. I don't know if you've really ever seen it, but really... No, I... Good reimagining. I think you yeah, it it's... I mean, obviously, like, you know the game. Like, you're not going to yeah. be, like, that impressed by anything else. But visually, it looks really nice, comparatively to the original. Like, obviously. So, it's like a nice, just kind of, um, I don't know. Nice, like, update to see happen, even though <laughs> that, would, that would be the second time they re-released it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, they've done that to the, the Last of Us a couple times now, too. Yeah, and you know what, Billy? I'm uh, fucking over The Last of Us. <laughs> yeah. I'm over it. Engaging terminal. You finally hit it. Yeah, I think point. I'm done. Like, I think I'm like... Like, they're making season two of the show, and like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I, I feel like the first. Have you... Well, you haven't seen the first, you said? No, I have not. Have you played the game? <laughs> yes. Then you've seen the show. <laughs> There's but, really no surprise. There's without, really no surprises. Without Pedro Pascal. Eh, he's fine. Whatever. There's no surprises. For anybody who's, like, intimately familiar with the first game, there's nothing new that the show can offer you. Like, they go off script a little bit. Like, it does vary a little bit from the game, but barely. Yeah, basically not. If not anything, all. what I would say... Watch episode three. That's the one with Nick Offerman that won him that Academy Award or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, whatever the fucking TV show award is. I don't know what it is. But watch that episode and you're good. You don't have to watch okay. the rest of it. Because <laughs> that one's the one that I know they did change a little bit, right? Yeah, that, it's very, that one's completely different from the game. But, like, everything else that happens in it... There's like one other like area of the game that I can or the the show rather that I can think of that does vary from the game, um, but it doesn't really add much of anything. It's when they're with like um, Henry and Sam, they introduce like they kind of try to characterize like the the bandit people a little bit more. Okay. Um, but nothing. Try to humanize them. Yeah, but nothing really changes. Honestly, like you're just still like they. they just yeah. They probably just felt like the game didn't have enough impact when they betrayed you. Well, I think, like, I don't know. I think they just wanted to show the other side of the conflict, right? Like, here are Joel and Ellie and everybody else just trying to survive, and then there, meanwhile this other faction is, like, kind of trying to do the same thing, but it's just how they go about it that, like... That it's different. That it's different, yeah. Yeah, so. that's the humanizing. You're, right. They're humanizing them. Exactly. But at the end of the day, you still don't really care about them. <laughs> no, fuck them. I don't yeah. give a shit about humans. Anybody who ain't me, I don't care about. Yeah, they can fucking die. Yeah. Don't we did it. Yeah, so, um, I would say, like, unless you're really interested in watching it, I'd say you don't have to. Like, you're not gonna... I'm not super interested, no. It's, like, yeah, you know the story. It's pretty yeah. much one-to-one -one in the show. It's. Really I mean, what was different. it on Amazon? Netflix? I think it was on. I think it was on HBO. I think. HBO. I think. 
I could be wrong. I have I one know. of those. If it's one of those, that's what I have. I, I got it. Yeah. I'll probably watch just episode three. Yeah, just watch that episode and you're good. Yeah. Have a wank and go. Ahead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have a wink, okay. maybe some chicken wings, and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> and that makes me wonder then too, like, are they gonna follow the the story to to the second game pretty closely in season two? Because if they are, it's gonna be a shit show. <laughs> yeah. Like, why? Why would you even bother doing that? Oh, here's the big the big heavy one. Yeah, this is a. You know what, Billy? Oh. I'm gonna mini nuke the shit out of this bitch. Yeah, fucking mini nuke the shit out of this bitch. That way we can just get the fuck out. Yeah. I think, um. I think there were rumors going around that they're gonna make a Last of Us Part 3. And I'll, like, of course, check it out, but, like. Consider me not that excited. <laughs> consider me. Neutral. Yeah. I just think, like, certain times, too, like, like, uh, like, Naughty Dog's been making the same, like, two franchises for almost 20 years now. Yeah. It's, it's like, I just, same. yeah, I just think they need to do something different at this point, but. Every, everyone's doing that. They're. No mag. Sequel everything. Yeah. Need original games, original content. I mean, even though this is a sequel, this is almost like a reimagining of the first game. Yeah, it doesn't even really play at all similar to the original. At least, like, inherently, you know? Yeah. In the in its heart, yes. Yeah, in, like, concept and everything, but, like, definitely in execution, it's, like, completely, completely yeah, different. Yeah, completely different. I actually need some fucking ammo. I got, like, no ammo. Yeah, a lot of remakes and remasters. I remember when this happened last, the last cycle. When we were talking about it last time, it was, uh, I think when the first Last of Us was, uh, remake was announced. Yeah. Well, that's just it too, though. It's like, they remake it, but like, all they do is like, make the visuals better. And it's like, yeah. cool, but... I'm not gonna pay, you know, sixty dollars because you did a touch-up of your own graphics. Yeah, when the original game still looked completely fine. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. is that the laser pistol? Who me? Oh yeah. Oh, I no, thought I you had the... the laser pistol. Out. No, I got the the scorcher still. We could probably go waterway. Yeah. Cut down. <clears throat> Well, the thing of it is, too, when they release these games, is, like, they're right in the midst of, like, you know, new console generations and things. Yeah. And then it's, like, for some reason, they still feel the need to have, like, a game that was released on PS4, like, accessible on PS5, you know? Yeah, just make things backwards compatible. How about that? Well, they did. But I guess... I guess that just gives them an excuse to re-release it just to try and make more money. I mean, in fairness, Last of Us like Last of Us Two Remastered had that extra mode in it and shit too. So yeah, they're trying to justify it, but then that's once again like a glorified DLC. Yeah, it's and even then, like I had fun with it, and then like I, I probably got like a good dozen hours maybe out of it, and that was pretty much it for me. <laughs> yeah, like I don't really feel the need to uh, really continue playing it all that much. But, I remember uh, back in the day, you know, <clears throat> when there's uh, an HD version, normally it was just a little DLC, you know, for like three ninety nine. Uh huh. Now they re-release it, make it all big, and they're like fifty bucks. Yeah. Well, the nice thing, I guess, about the Last of Us Part Two uh, remastered thing, anyway, is that. Uh, if you did happen to have a PS4 copy of it, you can upgrade for ten bucks, which was nice. Okay, that's, so that's reasonable. I, so that's what I did. Yeah, that is reasonable. Yeah. So sometimes it depends on who's making the game, I guess. But sometimes they make it like worth your while. But yeah, sometimes they make they it worth your while. Other times they're cash, 
cash, cash. Yeah. All. Like, like if you're buying Last of Us Part Two remastered for the first time, then yeah, you're gonna spend the full, you know, price. Oh, hell bomb, stand back. Nice. And there's a flame and flurfer. I like how the flamethrower withstands the power of a hell bomb. Yeah. You know that's good German engineering. I threw a I stinky. Mean, super Earth German. I threw a stinky. <laughs> oh, stinky. That's empty. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> what do you think the, the gas strike smells like? Um. Like raw sewage? No. I no, think it should be. Or like you wouldn't really notice it. No. I want, I want it to be like a uh, like a sour apple. Yeah, that would be good. <coughs> like it smells nice, so it makes makes people want to smell it. Yeah, exactly. And then then it goes into your lungs and it kills you. Yes. Would be great, war generals. See, once again, <laughs> all I need is everyone. I don't need any like qualifications or anything. Don't make me do any of the work. I'm just going to tell you how to do it. And yeah. if you follow it, we got it. We're good. Well, like, my idea, my idea is, um, to kind of ape off, like, the whole, like, Austin Powers Fembot thing. Yeah. Is, like, make our outfit every soldier on the field with, like, optical camo, kind of like, you know, Metal Gear Solid 4, except okay. it makes them look like beautiful and naked women. Because nobody's going to want to shoot that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'd be like... Oh, well, I mean... You know, if I shoot them... Then yeah, like maybe have like a waifu anymore. version. Like have an anime girl one. Maybe one's like a little puppy. Oh, yeah, there you go. Because now you're getting yeah, psychological. Yeah. yeah, you're getting psychological even with, you know... Infantry. It's like, do you really want to shoot this way? Because this could be your dog. <laughs> do you think if I don't shoot her, she'll go out with me? <laughs> <laughs> well, guys are dumb enough to think that, though. <laughs> That's the thing. Nobody, no, nobody would. It would just make them think for a second. Be yeah. like, huh? Yeah. It would give you just a second of confusion, and then people would be like, all right. Oh wait, it's not actually a girl. <laughs> wait a minute. Whoops. Oh, oh, damn it. From the south. Put the seat that up. That's what I was gonna do. You read my mind, baby. I mean, the cannon's right there. Pachoom. Here it comes. Hey bugs! Oh my god! You're the you're in the uh, range of enemy artillery. Yeah, totes. They're stinky, and I'm throwing a fucking napalm over there. Okay. Let's <laughs> throw fucking everything over there. That was a bad placement, but oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Go. <laughs> okay, I got a laser now, and here comes some, uh... Fucking oh. hell. Oh my gosh. I think some right, napalm. Good. I think some napalm. Uh, I love democracy. <laughs> Alright. I might do, uh, maybe... We can do it. You want to do one more, like, full bot mission? Yeah. And then I'm, I'm gonna probably, uh... Take Call a break. It. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shawarma, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one on 26. Oh, sorry, yeah, 26, not 24. Shawarma, yes. Never had it. I never had covered, it. Covered. Covered in gus. I know. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Helldiver. I got so many. War needs you. Let me, uh, let, let me get, like, buy a shower upgrade for my frickin' <laughs> my ship. Next time on Chester and Chaps. We, we do some body bats. Looks like I'm covered in relish and ketchup.